Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Varro Kingdom and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a fully functioning minting website in the quickest way possible. This is so easy to do and will take no time at all. Before we do get into that, if everyone watching could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're into the NFT world, it would mean a ton as I've been posting a ton of NFT content lately. Additionally, I just started up a Patreon. So if you wanted to show some extra support and check that out, it would mean so much. There's gonna be a ton of benefits by joining this Patreon that I'll have listed down below i just started to work on it so there's so many big things coming and i highly suggest joining the kingdom community it really supports me so that i can make more of these educational nft videos for you guys with that being said let's get right into this tutorial so for starters the things that you will need is visual studio code this is a program i've used on my channel before and no you will not need to know how to code to do this tutorial but you will need to download that program so I'll we'll have a download link to that in the description. The next thing you want to do is go to this website called Panada.com cloud don't worry you don't have to pay it for anything as long as your collection isn't like a million pieces so first you got to make an account which we are going to do right now when it asks are you a builder or creator you just want to select builder slash developer and then hit register it may ask you to verify your email so you'll just have to do that but once you do that you will be logged into panada and ready to go not as very easy to do you'll see this nice little upload button right here and you just want to click that and then select folder then hit select and this is where you are going to find your images folder with all your nfts that you want to upload if you haven't watched my earlier video on how to mass generate nfts i highly suggest doing that because i'll be able to show you how to mass rate all of these nfts that you see currently uploading right now i have the program running so it's auto generating all of these if you haven't watched that video, I highly suggest you check it out. So I'm just going to upload that entire folder, hit upload, and then name it. I'm going to name it Sauce Kingdom NFTs, and we are just going to wait for this to upload. Alrighty, so once your folder is uploaded, what you want to do is hit that copy so it copies all of this CID. Then you want to go to Visual Studio Code and open that up. Then you want to go to File, Open Folder, and find your Hashlips art engine main. Make sure it's not the minting dap one. Make sure it's the art engine one, which you use to create the 10,000 generative art. Once that's opened up, you just want to find the config.js and open that up. Then you want to change the name prefix to whatever your NFT is called. So in my case, and it's called the Sauce Kingdom. Description, welcome to the Sauce Kingdom, change it to that. And then the most important part, you want to paste in the CID right here. So take this part out, I'm going to delete that, and then I'm going to paste it in, and bam. Then you want to select File, Save All, and then inside the terminal, you want to paste in this code right here or type it in, sorry, node space util slash update underscore info dot js. Then hit enter and this will update your description, prefix and the CID. To double check that this updated, what you want to do is go to the JSON files, click one of them and see what the IPFS goes to and bam, this is what I pasted in, everything updated as you can see Sauce Kingdom number one, welcome to the Sauce Kingdom, beautiful. So our JSONs are perfect, they're all ready to go. We can go back onto that Panada website and go to upload. Then go to folder, select and then we want to find our JSON files. So we just want to find the JSON folder, hit upload, upload, and it's going to be the same process. This time we're going to be calling them the Sauce Kingdom JSON and hit upload. Fantastic. All of our JSON files uploaded. Now the next thing you want to do is go to this GitHub that I'll have linked down in the description. Sorry, there's so many GitHubs, but this is a little bit more of a complicated tutorial than ones I've done in the past. So hopefully you guys are keeping up. If you do have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. But you want to download this GitHub and it will download into your downloads folder. Then you just want to extract it. It's going to be called the Stripes NFT contract. 
Huge shout out to, I believe his name's Ali for creating this. Once it's extracted, you'll get a folder like so on screen. And if everything is here, then that is perfect. The next thing you want to do is go to this website right here called remix.ethereum.org, sign in, and you'll be brought to a page like this. Once you're on this website, what you want to do is click the contracts folder right here, and then you want to select the create new folder, and then you want to type in access. I already created an access one, as you guys can see, and a token one and a utils. You want to create all three of these folders right here. Next thing you want to do is add the following files to these folders. So for the access, we're going to add the ownable. As you can see, I already did that, but I'll show you with the token. As you can see, we don't have anything in the token folder right now, but we're actually going to create another folder in that one called ERC721. Then hit enter. And then in this folder, we are going to add all of the stuff that is in the token folder right here. Bam. As you saw, there was actually a folder in inside the ERC one itself. So what we're gonna do is create another folder and call that extensions. And then inside that folder, we are going to upload all the stuff that was in extensions. So by now, I'm pretty sure you guys understand what I'm doing. I'm, I'm replicating everything that was in this, the Stripes NFT folder into this Remix website. Okay, so once you're done, your folders should look like this with all of the following files in each of them. Make sure you carefully do this so that nothing is messed up. Alrighty, so the next thing you want to do is go to this website right here called faucet.polygon.technology. This is because you will be needing some Matic token if you don't already have some. So all you have to do, it is so simple. You just want to put your wallet address in there. If you don't know how to do that, just go to your MetaMask extension and then your wallet you can find right at the top just copy that paste it in hit submit and your tokens will be transferred to you you hit submit confirm and it will be in the mumbai polygon network Alrighty, so we want to go back to the remix.ethereum.org website and you want to make sure that the stripes nft.soul is uploaded now there's a few things you want to change but they're very easy to do so the first thing is the public cost you want to change that to whatever price you want this is an eth so we're going to keep it at 0.04 and for the pre-sale we're going to keep that at 0.03 for the max supply this is how many nft images you have in my collection i made 420 so i'm going to set that to 420 then the max mint amount this is the maximum amount that you want someone to mint from one wallet so the maximum amount that someone can mint of my collection is going to be 20 since there's 20 right here once you filled that in don't touch anything else and you are set to compile this contract so you just want to make sure that it is on the 0.8.7 compiler and then you just want to select compile the stripes nft.soul it's very important that you have this open as as well so bam your contract is compiled next you want to go down and this is where you're going to deploy next thing you want to do is go to your metamask and you'll notice that you probably only have an ethereum mainnet or maybe you only have the matic mainnet if this is the case you can actually add a network by going up to the top and hitting add network then you can go to this website it will bring you to this website and you just want to fill in all the following so for the network name save it as matic mumbai for the new RPC URL, put this in right here. For the currency symbol, put in Matic. For the chain ID, put 80001. And for the block explorer URL, put mumbai.polyscan.com. As you see, make sure to pause this video and make sure everything's copied in correctly. So we're going to hit save. And bam, as you can see, that Matic from before that we got from this faucet website right here has transferred into our account for free. So that's fantastic. Now that we have the Matic, we can deploy the contract. So as you can see, it went from 0 ETH to 0 0.5 right here. So next, what you want to do is change the contract to the Stripes NFT and then hit the down arrow right here. The next thing you want to do is go back to that Panada website and copy the CID of the JSON folder. So we're going to copy that and then bring it back over to the Remix website. Then paste it in right here. 
and add a slash to the end. Then you wanna go all the way to the beginning and select IPFS on your keyboard with a colon and two slashes. Then in the name, that's where you wanna name your NFT. We're calling it the Sauce Kingdom. And for the string, we are going to do SK NFT standing for Sauce Kingdom NFT. Pretty self-explanatory. Then we are going to hit transact and it will take some gas fees right here, but don't worry. This is the free Matic that we got from the Polygon faucet. Just hit confirm and perfect. It is now deployed. Now we can check if the mint works correctly by going and hitting the down arrow right here and then going to the down arrow on the mint. Then it's gonna ask where you want to mint to. Just go to your MetaMask wallet, copy your address, paste that in. How many do you wanna mint? We're just gonna mint, let's go with 10. Hit transact, gonna ask for some gas fees, hit confirm. And if everything worked, we should have 10 NFTs in our wallet. We can check this by going to OpenSea and you just wanna to go to your profile and bam, as you guys can see, we have 20 of the Sauce Kingdom sauce bottles that we collected. I don't know why it minted 20 of them, even though I could have swore I put in 10, but maybe I'm tripping. Now, if you don't see your NFTs here, make sure you're actually on the testnets.opensea, not the original OpenSea website. When you go to my collections, you'll see the Sauce Kingdom or whatever your collection is called, and you can actually edit everything. So you can edit the um, image, you can edit the background, you just gotta sign in and sign it, and you can add your logo. So yeah, now there's just one part left and that's actually creating the website that people can click mint and it will mint a NFT. All right, so the final step in all of this, you gotta go down to another GitHub website and go to code and hit download zip. It'll download to your downloads folder. Once in your downloads folder, you can just extract it like all the other downloads and it'll open up this folder. In this folder, you will see a logo dash blob all you wanna do is put in your own logo right here. The logo size is 1279 by 504. Then you wanna go into the public folder and you will notice a favicon icon. This is the icon that appears on the top of websites. As you can see for the GitHub, there's a tiny little cat. For the Panada, there's a pinata. You get the idea. For the logos, you want a 192 by 192 logo and a 512 by 512 logo. As you can see, I have those inputted in and they're just called logo 512. Lastly, in the config and then in the images, you want a background image that is called BG. And the sizing of that is 1920 by 1080. Then you need a GIF. If you don't know how to make a GIF, they're very simple to do, but you need a GIF file called example. And then lastly, you need a horizontal logo called logo and make sure that's a PNG. Once you have all of those things, you are set to go to the next step. So what you wanna do is go back onto the remix.ethereum.org website and make sure you have the Stripes NFT checked and then go to the Solidity compiler, make sure the compiler is on 0.8.7, make sure the contract is the stripes nft and then compile set it back to the stripes nft and then copy the abi then you want to go to visual studio code and you want to do open folder and then find that folder that you just downloaded it's going to be called the nft minting app main so we're going to open that up and then we are going to go to public config and then abi.json. We're gonna hit control A on the computer, which is gonna select everything, delete it all, and then hit control V. Then we are going to go to save, and this will save this file. Next thing you wanna do is find your contract address when you made those mints. This is very easy to find if you just go to your OpenSea and then go to any one of the NFTs you have, go and click here and then you'll be brought to your contract address. Copy that on the clipboard, go into your Visual Studio code and paste that in the contract address. The next thing you wanna do is get the scan link. Then you just wanna take the address and paste that in. Next up is the name of the network and then the symbol. We're gonna keep that at Polygon. Keep the symbol at Matic and keep the ID at 137. For the NFT name, you just want to change in your name of your NFT collection. We're calling this the Sauce Kingdom. 
and then SK NFT for Sauce Kingdom NFT. Our max supply, remember, we had 420 and keep the rest of the numbers the same. For the marketplace link, we just want to change that out and put our marketplace in which was the sauce kingdom right here. So we're just going to copy this and paste that in. Next thing you wanna do is go to index.html and you wanna change the title to the sauce kingdom or whatever your NFT is called. Then on the manifest.json, you just want to change the name up here to your NFT collection name. So we're gonna change that to sauce kingdom and then SKNFT. Now you are ready for the final code lines. You just want to go into new terminal and hit an npm install. Once it's done npm installing, there will be one more thing that you need to add in to the code at the bottom. Alrighty, it is done installing. Next thing you want to do is npm run start and hit enter. Now if everything worked properly, it should load up a local host. Now you make an error that says something like local host refused to connect or it might work for you. It didn't work for me for the local host. That's just because they had a firewall, but that doesn't matter because the next step we're going to be deploying it actually onto the web so anyone can visit it, not just yourself. So we're going to be doing this by going to Netlify. You just want to go to this website, netlify.com and make an account. Once you make your account, it will give you this random website domain. You can change that later by getting a custom domain on like GoDaddy, but we aren't worried about that right now. So what you want to do is go to site settings when you're on this website and then go to change site name. From here, you can change it to Sauce Kingdom or whatever your NFT is, but it doesn't really matter if you're going to change your URL in the future. Uh, but that just looks a lot cleaner than whatever it was before. I think it was like laughing Kowalski or something. So next thing you want to do is go to build and deploy and then hit edit settings. From here, what you want to do is link a repository. Now, to link a repository, you're going to have to make a GitHub account. Once you make a GitHub account, you need to go to the plus icon right here and select new repository. Then you want to type in the name of your NFT collection. So we'll just type in sauce and then hit create repository. The next thing you want to do is go to uploading an existing file. From here, you just want to drag in your NFT minting app main. If you do have a folder in there that says like node modules, make sure to delete that because it will not let you drag in this folder if you have that in. So we're just going to drag this in and then bam, it's done uploading. We're going to hit commit changes and your repository is up on GitHub once it processes. So once it's processed, you can go over to your app.netlify.com and then you just want to link your repository. So we're going to select GitHub and then I'm going to select the V5 one, but for your case, it'll be whatever you named it. Next thing I'm gonna do for the base directory, you wanna do backslash, and then for build command, you want it to be npm space run space build, and then publish directory, you want it slash build, hit deploy site, and then if you click here, it should load up your site, and bam, there we go, guys, are fully functioning minting website is complete this took so long to make this video so if you guys wanted to go down and leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel it would mean so much i already know this video is going to take me like five hours plus to edit probably even longer this is going to be a pain to edit but I hope it's worth it. As you can see, our background's deployed. It's connected to our OpenSea right here. Everything is working amazingly. The gifts are working. It looks fantastic. Now I will say, you probably wanna spice up your website. You probably wanna change around the HTML so it doesn't look exactly like this because I bet there's going to be a ton of different websites once I publish this tutorial that look identical to this. Alrighty, but I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace, see ya later. Thanks.